Let's face it, when it comes to food, we're the best at a lot of things. Bowboys, gumbo, boiled seafood and steaks, sizzling and butter. Here in New Orleans, we've created more iconic dishes than most countries around the globe. But barbecue? Well, recently the rest of the country has taken notice. We're pretty good at that too. I'm deep in the bywater with owner Pete Breen to savor some of the juiciest meats in the city, smoked to perfection. Definitely the best barbecue in the city. I've eaten just about everything in there. This is it. This kind of ruins you for everybody else. Smoked meats, house-made sides, and service with a smile keeps this joint rocking with locals and tourists alike. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the joint. All right, so we're in here. We have the, uh, the pork shoulder, which you said is the best cut of meat to use for pulled pork. And you can't use a uh, cow shoulder. Human shoulders, not big enough, not enough meat, not good enough. Frowned upon. Also very frowned upon. But what makes uh, pork shoulder special for pulled pork is what exactly? Well, it's a big muscle. It has lots of connective tissue and it has to be cooked to the point of falling apart. That takes a long time to happen, but the results are pretty special. It's also a big piece of meat, and so we need some strong spices to get flavor in there. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper, sugar, and then paprika are in this rub. These are completely crusted. What is the next move for these pork shoulders? They're gonna go on the smoker 12 plus hours, then we'll, uh, then we'll pull them and serve them. My favorite thing is the brisket. Really flavorful on the top layer, and then just like really juicy and nice. Mm -hmm. oh. Smoked brisket is awesome. It's phenomenal. All right, so we've moved on from the pork shoulder for the pulled pork, and we are now at brisket. This thing looks heavy. It looks delicious. What is the specifics? What do you look for? I mean, you're looking for a few different things. Uniformity in thickness, and you're also looking for intermuscular fat, which you can see here. Which is that marbling. Right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I see we have a different rub over here for this brisket than we did for the pork. Yeah, you know, we used to use the same that we used on the pork, uh -huh. and then uh, started traveling over to Texas and seeing how they did things over there, and uh, came back with the conclusion that, you know, fresh ground black pepper and, and kosher salt is all this needs to really okay. make it shine. There we go. He's a master at this guy. Uh -huh. It's like he's been doing it for 17 years. <laughs> The way that they smoke, I don't know what they do or what kind of magic, but it is so good. This is the third pit we've built. This has been our approach. We always partner with a local metal worker and, uh, and build these pits. All right, these are uh, baby back ribs. Okay. Loin back ribs, and we've put a seasoning on them. So what makes these things special? It's definitely the combination of seasonings and the smoke. Okay. And the unique way we cook it. You yeah. know, these things take five or six hours on here. We've cooked on some other pieces of equipment, you know, that might be either gas assisted or just a really controlled fire that these could cook in two or three hours on one of those pieces of equipment. You don't get the same depth of flavor. All right, check it out. 12 hours on the smoker, yep. cooked till it's fork tender. You know, we call it pulled pork and you could Pull it until it was all stringy, but really we just end up chopping it. Why don't you take some uh, we, take Do we some start from the out. bottom? Do we start from the top? Any, anywhere you like. It's all going the same place. And do we just, what do we do? We just, just pam? Mm-hmm. Just get in here like, that is hot. Wow. You got a comedian's fingers. Oh, that's yeah. not fair. Okay, there's some cow. I, I live weights once a month. What is New Orleans barbecue's claim to fame or take or fit? What makes New Orleans the most distinct, the type of oak trees we have here and, uh, and the preponderance of pecan trees. As far as the New Orleans barbecue tradition, you have to look to like the second line community. They're taking like maybe a, a tomatoey thick barbecue sauce and they're kicking it up a notch, so to speak, to uh, increase the salt, increase the spice. So we talk about all those different seasonings, but you know, one of my favorite things to dip, which it might be a little sacrilegious, but I love using crystal hot sauce. Yep, and we use it in our barbecue sauce here too. Oh, you know, okay, there's there maybe you know, yeah. 20 ingredients in there, but there's definitely some of that. And do you guys have, is it y'all's sauce secret? More or less. I mean, it's, it's, it's be impossible the, to make. Let's put the knife down when I ask you about that secret sauce. <laughs> <How about that? laughs> this is ready to go. You know, I'd suggest you treat a piece like that. It has some good bark. I just, I guess I've never had it right off the smoke. I can really taste the open. Like, yeah. This is, oh, I love my job. I'm excited. I have a bowl of pork and I cannot wait to eat it. <laughs> I'm going to finish as much as the barbecues I can now. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to wait for the rest of that stuff to come out. Is that okay with you? Works for me. All right, we are 
Back from my six hour nap, the meats are smoked. We're back with Peter here in the Joints Kitchen, having one of New Orleans' finest local breweries, Parlo. Cheers, my man. Cheers to you. Let's get right Thanks into this. Here. Thank you. Well, let's touch up a little sausage appetizer here. Okay. Garlic, jalapeno, green onion. And then this is a uh, Creole mustard sauce that is uh, nice on the side of that. Yeah. My goodness, man. That's like, it's just a little bit of spicy, but it's even like almost sweet. Yeah, a little, uh, a little mayo, a little dill. Yeah. And celery seed too. Let's get some of this burnt end in there too for you. All right, I'm gonna give the burnt end a try. What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say other than, like it's, the, it's we, we're here for a reason. You know, we are at the joint for a reason and it's it's the feeling I have right now. I think uh, yeah. you guys know what you're doing around here. I love the joint, it's my favorite. It is the best barbecue in town, no doubt. I hope y'all hurry up and come see what it's about over here. You're not gonna um, have any barbecue in New Orleans like it. It's obvious why well, you guys have been here 17 years. You continue to crush it. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Thank you.